Hi, my name is Michael Hovan. I'm the fullback and linebacker for Nully High School, and I'm graduating in 2012. I've been playing youth football ever since third grade, and as long as I can remember, I've always been holding a football, watching football. There's a picture of me uh, with an NFL football that's bigger than me when I was six months old next to me. And I've been raised as a football player. My dad played and coached at St. Peter's College in Jersey City. And ever since I was young, I've dreamed of being a captain in high school and eventually playing in college. At Nelly High School, I've learned many life lessons, but I think one of the most important is hard work. Between football and all the things that I am involved in in school, I always do whatever it takes to get things done, no matter how hard I have to work for it. And also, from all the things that I'm involved with, I learn to ma manage my time well with football and then getting home, doing homework and anything else that I need to get done. Coach DiGregorio, he's quite a good guy. He yells at you, he gets on you when he has to, but at the same time, he's there for you when you need him. He's kind of like a second father to me that's just a little bit tougher. When I take the field for any game, whether it's playing against a team that's 0-5 or in a state championship game, I always bring the same energy that every play is the most important play of the game. I've always been taught that ever since... I was little with my father teaching me that every day, every day you step on a football field could be your last, so you have to enjoy it. I give everything to practice, to games. I always have high energy. I get, try and get people going. I just truly try to have fun when I'm playing. Every year when football season ends, I was always that guy who would be in the weight room the next day. The junior year, the state championship, we lost. The next day, I was the only one in the weight room of all my friends, all my teammates. Then they started trickling, trickling in as the weeks went by, really getting into the offseason. 
I never miss a day in the weight room. In the summers, I've given up summer vacations to work out and run with my teammates. We worked out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the summer, and I'm lifting exactly every day.